Gallagher here. If you want to grow your channel quick and easy, subscribe and smash that notification bell because I share with you all the tips, tricks, and strategies that I use to grow this dead channel from zero to thousands of subscribers and became a YouTube partner in just a matter of months. What is going on? It's me again, and I have an announcement to make, and that is the last video I posted was actually my 100th video. And so in this video, I'm going to share with you some time-saving hacks that I've learned over the course of creating and posting all those videos that have really helped me to increase my production, increase my views, increase my channel size, and increase my income. And as proof of this, if we go over to uh, subscribercounter.com you can see right here oh there's another indicator that I got my hundredth video uploaded and then if we scroll down here what well, you can see right now 11,714 subscribers you guys are awesome you know it's just popping up and popping up uh, two days uh, estimate I'll be at 12,000 subscribers you can see my daily subs coming in 105 on average uh, 736 last week and so posting consistently and regularly definitely helps you get to this position and we already know that the more you post the faster you're likely to grow on YouTube and time and time again this has been proven and if you don't believe me check out the video I just did the other day this one right here where I highlighted a youtuber that went from 10,000 subscribers to 50,000 subscribers in a matter of a month and he owes a great deal of that success in his own words because he posts every single day so that said, to help you post more and to get more of your content out there as quickly as possible and as efficiently as possible, so you can grow too, I'm gonna show you my top hacks that have worked for me. Now first and foremost, stay ahead of yourself. Always be thinking ahead and have video ideas lined up. And to help ensure that you never run out of content ideas, I already did a video on just that the other day as well. So if you struggle with coming up with new video ideas, check this video out and you'll never have to worry about that again but tip number one stay ahead of yourself so don't find yourself with downtime and lose the opportunity of putting out another video the next thing I do is if I'm researching videos just to get the information out of them whether I'm trying to learn how to grow more or learn how to do anything in order to speed that process up I go right down here to the little settings icon and if you open that up you're gonna see speed and it's obviously set to normal you can increase it all the way up to two times as fast or in other words you can cut gathering this information that time you can cut it right in half so like I said this is very helpful when I'm just out there scavenging YouTube just looking for information that I want to use on my own channel and if it works then I share it with you I do this all the time another thing that I do to help ensure that I am productive as possible and that I don't end up losing focus and go from editing my videos to watching videos for instance is I'll use the timer on my phone and do my best to get whatever I'm trying to get done before that time runs out not only does this help me get more done it also makes the task a little bit more challenging and fun and I don't limit this just to YouTube I use the timer trick no matter what I'm doing to try to get things done as quickly as possible another thing that I do and this will work depending on what niche you're in is I write a script not only does this make recording the video quicker because I don't have to do take after take to get whatever I'm trying to say to come out right but when I go to edit the video it saves me a ton of time sifting through all the outtakes and while editing the video I have a bunch of clips already pre-recorded and saved so when I'm in here I just click on add and import media and then I'll go to my trusty folder here with all these pre-recorded clips so here's like an intro for instance so that I just upload it into the tray here and then I grab it and drag it down onto the editor all I have to do is drop it in and I'm done and I have several of these types of clips and it saves me a lot of time and the other thing that I do is I have this trusty notepad right here and so that way I have all the important stuff that, that contains the disclaimers the usage rights the music information about affiliate links and so on it's all saved right here so all I have to do is copy and paste it right into my description and of course I use extensions like vidIQ and TubeBuddy to help me save all sorts of time when it comes to researching keywords and tags so for instance if I wanted to uh, you know use someone else's tags that they, they're doing really well with their video ranking I can go right over here I can just click on this copy this and then drop it into my tags and then with TubeBuddy all I have to do is click on the icon go down to the extension tools and click on tag and keyword explorer and then type in whatever my video topic is about so let's say it's a channel let's go with a 2018 I can't type challenger Hellcat 
review. Now, if that was if I was in the car niche and I was going to do a video on that, then it's going to bring me up all these most used tags, and then I can just click on these, scroll down through here, and click on all these most used tags, copy them, and then drop them in. So you can see between TubeBuddy and VidIQ. I can save tons of time in getting all the metadata around for my videos. So by using these time saving hacks, I've really been able to ramp up my postings and save time in the process. And as you can see, grow my channel. So hopefully some of these tips will help you become more productive, enable you to achieve success quicker here on YouTube. And if you have any time saving hacks you'd like to share, drop them in a comment below. So with that, I'm going to wrap this up and I will see you in the next video.